everybody. Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're back. We're doing a best of one Kaldheim draft. All right. Rare is a Saika, a Sika's Chariot. I've played with and against this card many times, or a few times. It's very, very strong. Definitely worthy of a first pick. Look at the cute cats on it, too. Look at how poofy that cat is. Look at him. All right. Other notable picks in here. Well, I like the Shepherd. Flying. It's got Fortel. It gets you graveyard value sometimes augury raven is very good i like the runes i like mistwalker squash is good removal i think the disciple is good and snowland of course good those are the most notable picks in here but let's slam the chariot and see if we can make that work all right follow up in green you have ice hide troll and jespera sentinel neither of those are exceptionally good ice hide troll is good if you have pretty deep snow going um i guess ravager technically has some synergy with the chariot can deal two damage i guess with your cats ravager feels like the best card in here you get a creature plus a kill spell which is quite good um otherwise i could take the flood plane not on color with what we're doing right now, but it's just random snow land. Kind of okay taking the Ravager in case Chariot doesn't work out. I do think this card is good. Quite a bit better than the Troll. But, I mean, I suppose Troll's on color with Chariot. I want to play Chariot. Ah, oh, whatever, I'll take the Troll. I think Ravager's better, but Troll quick. Could be good if we end up with enough goodies for it. All right, now we probably just slam dunk a pack mate here. Great card. Um, Herald is good. Fall the Imposter, I like. Seeker is playable, so is the Yeti. Outrider and Gladewalker are two other playable green cards. We've got a playable Snowland for us, but we'll just slam this pack mate and never look back. Great card. Okay, pick four. We've got Glittering Frost. We have Sculptor. Both are fine. Frost might be better. It lets us activate Troll and fixes and ramps us. Sculptor is 2-drop two 2-2, two two, though. I never really have a problem with 2-drop two 2-2s. Two and it can potentially ramp us. I could actually see an argument for Sculptor because it's okay for an elf deck as well. This would let us maybe branch into more colors more easily, but then there's also, yeah, Pretender. We currently are rocking. Well, it does actually work with cats, which is kind of cool. But And there's Valkyrie, which flies. I mean, there's some decent options in here. I like Jarl too, but I think here we take a green card. And I'm actually going to go Sculptor over Glittering Frost. I don't know if that's right. Some people would probably disagree, but I'm okay with it. Uh, here we can take another troll, or we could take the Outrider, or we can actually take the Lit Yara Mirror Lake. I mean, certainly happy to have this. Uh, this is kind of cool with Chariot, too, right? If you turn Chariot into a creature, and then copy it. I think that works. Is it still a vehicle? Does it turn back into... Does it turn back into a non-creature? Questions we should be asking. I'm more excited by the Mirror Lake than the Outrider and the Ice Side Troll, the second Ice Side Troll, so I'll go Mirror Lake. We'll see if it pans out. Okay, so there's Snakeskin Veil now, which I like. Good card. Keeps us in green. I mean, certainly with the Pagmate and a Chariot, I'd like to be in green. Uh, nothing else exceptionally good in here. Valkyrie, if you're in deep snow. Oracle, if, you know, it's a playable card anywhere, but I guess at its best in the two-spell deck, which I'm still not a huge fan of. Orzhov, two-spell. Ravenwings is playable, but I'm going to take the Veil. Good protection. Can protect our chariot, too. That's cool. All right, we can take the pick here, or we can take the Ravenwings. It's Arachnopharm and Recluse. I think Recluse is surprisingly playable but 
Yeah, I'd probably go Ravenwings over pick. The evasion is quite good. It is more on the top end to make it work, but it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome card. We'll take it. A lot of good equipment in this set. Like I said, LSV kind of said it best. We're, we're so used to equipment being bad because it's been bad for so many sets that equipment is just sort of getting overlooked in this set. Like, I could take a pick here. I'd probably take the Glade Walker, probably. Just to cut green, that probably makes sense. I'm a little bit up on Wither Crown, but only because... I don't know, I find myself playing the kind of decks where Wither Crown is good more often. I don't really like it for Hyper Aggro, but... If you're a slow deck, it's quite good. So, we can take the Mist Walker here. Over King Herald's Revenge, I'm okay with that. A few black cards in here that are pretty good. We currently just have a couple elves, maybe. No real con creature consistency, but yeah, I'll take a Mistwalker. It flies. It's a good card. Hmm. I don't know if Snow's going to pan out either. Something to keep in mind. Could take the way down, I suppose, in case I end up black. I don't really like the card, but... It's okay there. Take an Outrider over the second Raven Wings. Certainly a playable green card. All right, Yarl. Hmm. Black could be the second color. I like Yarl a lot. But we got a late run ashore. That's eh, might put us back in a blue route. It's not that great of a card, but it's playable. All right, second last pick way down. Maybe we end up bug. Will be bug without any of the snow. I don't know if I like that. All right. So, Spirit of the Elder Guard, but once again, we don't really have a snow theme going. Probably could just take Cosima. It's a good card. Makes sense. We can be Simic non snow too. I think that's perfectly fine. But yeah, Cosima gives us another powerful rare. I did accidentally play it as the Omen Keel one time. Well, I purposely played it as the Omen Keel, but it's because I. Did not realize what exactly Omen Kill did. I thought it let you play any of the cards from among those cards for as long as they were exiled. And it's just lands, which is interesting. Still makes sense, considering how cheap that side is. But yeah, this can give you card advantage. It's a bit slow, but it's a good card. And I'm going to take it. So currently, legend-wise, we've got a Chariot. And Cosima. Okay. We can take another Sculptor. Or we can take the Snow Island now. I'm okay with it. Or, or we could take the Sanctum. And presume we're going to find more Legends. I don't know if we are, though. Got two. It's totally possible we could. I'll take the Snow Land. You know what? We've already got a Sculptor. We've got stuff to ramp into. Turn three Chariot. Can you imagine? Yeah, let's take the Snow Land. Can't pass up those on-color snow lands. All right, so we could take the tree line now, too. Or we could take a glade walker. Probably just take tree line. Not giving up much for it. It's technically on color. And it makes our ice eyed troll and sculptor better. And maybe we wheel that other sculptor, too. We'll see. Okay, so we could take a pick. We could take a glade warden. Probably take the raven. Raven's quite good. Evasive. Cheap. Let's... Let's maybe just presume at this point that we are blue-green and be okay with that. Yeah, I like Raven more than the other cards in here. It's hard to go wrong with the Ravens and the Bagmates. They are very good. So I can take the Shimmer Drift Veil, get another Snowland, or I can take the Raven here, or I can take Behold the Multiverse. A lot of good cards. Behold might actually just be the best. Get some card advantage. It foretells. Veil vale is very good too, even for us. But I think Behold is probably just worth taking here. Even over Raven, I think. You just get some really fantastic card advantage with that. So one of those cards where you top deck it in a late game and you're pretty thrilled about it. All right, choices here. We can do Saw It Coming, a second Mistwalker. 
or the Trickster's God's Eyes. I'm kind of, I think Saw Coming is actually very good. It's better if you have a lot of instants. We basically just have Snake Veil. We've got the Behold, Run Ashore. And Mistwalker is very good, but this dealing with anything is quite nice. I'm going to take Saw Coming. I like it. I've been pretty impressed with it. It's an uncommon for a reason. Being able to foretell it early and cast it for two later is quite good. All right, here I'll just slam a Snow Forest over a Rune of Flight, which would also be fine, although redundant on a Raven Wings, I guess. Could be would be good on a Goldbane pick, but let's take the Snow Forest. And be happy about that. So we actually did get some Snowlands this pack. We'll see if we get that Sculptor back. That would be cool. I definitely like Behold a lot more in a deck that's got rampy stuff. Well, we can take Morit. Upside of Morit is, is usually pretty high, I would think. I mean, can you imagine copying a Chariot? I guess that really wouldn't work well because of the legendary aspect, but copying a Pac-Mate is amazing. You know what? I'm going to take it over the Snow Forest, I think. It's a cool card. I like it. I've been fairly impressed with it. I can take Pilfering Hawk here. We we may end up with enough snow to make that work. I can take Depart and be happy enough about that. I'll probably take a second Raven Wings over an Intruder. So now we have two pieces of equipment. All right, Broken Wings or Draugr Thought Thief. It's best of one. I'm I'm not one that main decks Broken Wings. Probably don't usually main deck Thought Thief either, but doesn't really matter. I'll take a snow land we don't need. Uh, take the worst of the two. So that was a pr you know, fairly good pack two, I would say. All right, pack three. We can take another mirror lake. I'm probably on board with that. It is good. Over a veil and a snakeskin veil. Yep, the same full stroke too. Some good cards in here. Furia. Rydane, very good cards, but we'll take the Mirror Lake and be the Alex Stevenson special. Good old 18 lander with upside spell lands. So, could take the Snow Forest here. I'm probably on board with that. There's Outrider and Horizon Seeker as well. And we actually need like five more playables to actually make a deck, but I'll take the Snow Forest for now. Probably find something on the wheel. Probably. I'm on board with Behold number two. That is pretty good. Unless I wanted to splash Slumberbound. I don't think we can do that. Nope. All right. Behold it is. Still a little bit creature light, but that's okay. You can take the Yeti here. I mean, it's a win con. It's a playable card. We have enough snow to reliably make it unblockable in the late game. Pyre of Heroes. I never really consider that one. Could take the Elven Bow. It's kind of versatile. Or we could take another Troll. You know, with four Snowlands, I'm not sure we can reliably do Troll. But Elven Bow is another creature that's got good versatility. It's probably good for a deck that wants to survive to the late game. So I'll take it. Got an expensive equip cost, I suppose, but we should have a lot of mana. All right, Miss Walker, I'm going to take over Bind, despite really not having much removal. Barely any removal at all. I don't really like Bind the Monster for a more slow deck that we're doing, whereas Miss Walker can block all day and get in in the late game and possibly win. All right, take another Snow Land here. Sentinel would be playable in here, another Depart. Maybe as well, but definitely taking Snowland. Hmm, three seasons seems like it might be good enough here. Snow count is one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I can take a second bail, or we can take the disdainful stroke. We're still a little bit. Uh, you know, we have sought coming, which is, I think, better than disdainful stroke for the most part. Even though you have to pay on the front end a little bit. I'm going to take another Veil. I, I really like Snake Seeing Veil. We can take Miss. It's technically pseudo removal. We could use it. Don't really need any of this. I don't think we're a King Herald's Revenge deck. I don't think we're a Raider's Carb deck either, but whatever. Don't need a third Raven Wings. Don't really need Roots of Wisdom. Hmm. Oh, well, late rare is good for uh, gems. Alright, we'll take the... whatever. It's a lot of Roots of Wisdom. Alright. So, let's cut. This is just how I generally do it. Look at how many Snowlands we have. Look how many blue sources and green sources we have. So we've got four green sources, three blue sources. And five snow sources, not bad. It's probably just enough to get troll going, hopefully. So I don't want to cut snow stuff if I'm, if I'm going to make this uh, three seasons card work, which I'd like to. I've definitely seen it miss plenty, though. Uh, but I think I can keep it around because it can be very good. So 7 plus 3, 7, so 14. So we need to make 4 cuts if we want to do 18 lands. I think I do. And I better cut non-creature spells. Maybe 2 Raven Wings is unnecessary. We can get away with 1. Oh, we have Elven Bow, so that's 14 creatures. And Chariot's a creature, too. Actually, does Chariot count as a creature in the deck? I guess not, because it's a vehicle. So we really have 15 creatures. So that doesn't mean I want to cut any creatures, but with two Behold the Multiverse, I might be able to. Do I want to do the Veils instead of the Run Ashore? Run Ashore gives us some top-end use, which is kind of nice. But at the end of the day, it's not like... It's not crazy. But in a deck that practically has no removal, could be good. If I were to cut a creature, it'd probably be the Thought Thief just because it's kind of like a whatever card, although copying it with Morit is kind of nice. Hmm. Plus, I have, I have all these copy effects. I might just want straight 15 creatures, but I have to make some cuts, so maybe the run a short can go. I'll just try it. Try getting away with the part miss and some snakeskin bales to protect in a timely fashion. But, yeah, with no removal, this could be a bit more difficult. 7 plus 9 is 16, so two more cuts. Um, hmm. I guess, like I said, if I cut a creature, it's probably the Thought Thief. Probably. Just because a 3-mana three 3-2 three is not amazing. All right, I'll cut one creature, I think. And maybe a veil, because our creature count at this point is possibly just low enough where I need the one. Keeps us a little more diverse. Or I could do it over the mist, but mist is like basically my only way to turn off some pesky creature I can't deal with. Yeah, let's go for the versatile deck that's got a little bit of everything, I think. So, color-wise, we're looking at more blue than green. This requires double green. This requires double blue. No other double color, really. So, I guess we can do the extra blue. Okay. 
because I would hope by the time we get Mirror Lake on 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 board, we've got double. Or I guess I could just do nine nine too. Yeah, nine nine is probably okay actually. I can do that. All right. Well, certainly not a busted deck, but we've got some card advantage. It's cool. It's a cool enough deck. I think we can do some cool stuff with this deck, so let's run it like this. All right. Simic, some good stuff. We'll run it like this. We'll see you round one. All right. Round one. We'll keep this. We don't have any snow lands for that pilfering hawk, but that's okay. Got a little flying thing going here, so. Ooh. Yeah. Chariot. That's a good one. Chariot is a real game ender. Oh, they got the frostbite, huh? All right. Not that much of a loss based on this hand. Ooh, got that fourth land too. Nice. That's good. Yeah, and next turn we can even protect the chariot too with snakeskin veil. Pretty cool. Right. Even bouncing chariot with the part to get back. Snakeskin Veil is pretty cool. Could have attacked into the Corsair, but I'm okay with chilling a little bit here. Especially if they try to, like, Iron Verdict the Chariot. Then I can bounce it, replay it, get more cats. Copy a cat upon the attack. Ah, well, the good news is I can still bounce my Chariot, so I am totally okay with that. So let's do the Mirror Lake. Um, I'm going to attack with the cats. Um, I guess we'll foretell this. Doesn't really matter. I guess I could leave that up for Mistwalker pump or something, but planning on end of turn bouncing my chariot and then replaying it. Getting some more kitties out there. Mm -hmm. So I can actually snakeskin veil, yeah, if they attack. But I wouldn't even have to. I've got onboard pump, so that makes sense. All right, so we'll bounce our chariot. Now we can go... I can actually attack with all... Three. I think we will. All right. We'll play the chariot, and we're going to leave up. The snakeskin veil. Technically, Mirror Lake can copy our cats, I guess. Might just want to copy. A yeah, I could see that being better. We'll see. Firewalker, sure. 
we have one card left. Sure. So we can go sculptor. Activate this with our sculptor and a cat. Then we're going to attack with, I think, everything and copy a cat. Then we can even should have actually played the extra land so I could double pump the uh, double pump the Miss Walker. Get more damage in. Thought there might be some reason I want to sandbag the land. I don't think there is, but I'm going to do it anyway now that I can't bump Miss Walker. Um, I guess since they have a 2-3 they can play, I'll block now. Let's see, if I attack for five, well, maybe it's actually better to, yeah, you know what, I'm going to take the fire walker. This just puts him in a tough spot, I would say. Oh, they actually had another bounty gold, okay. Well, makes it a little bit better for them, but we can still smash with everything. Uh, missed out on another Mistwalker pump for sandbagging, I guess, but we can attack with everything. So they blocked that. Yeah, I guess we do it. They have to block now, or else they just die, because they're at nine. That block actually makes the most sense, because it prevents the most damage, and it prevents me from using the Mirror Lake. But now I guess they're at three life. So they got to find an answer. Which means they probably have to attack with the Firewalker. No attacks, huh? Okay. Well, um, I guess I don't copy now because then I won't have lethal, but we can attack with everything here. Well, I guess I could have copied. did draw removal, which means I should have... Well, if I'd copied, they would have killed it, though. So actually, that's okay. They had a good rip there, though.
still no snow lands this game too, which is kind of odd. Which means we don't have lethal. But we can kill the Berserker. Alright. I feel like we... For how much we were whooping up on them with like turn 4 chariot, we like barely got there. That's crazy. Alright, we'll see you for the next one. Alright. Keep this. Huh. I'm curious if you always want to do the turn 2 3 seasons. I'm not sure that you do. Might be a better card when you're guaranteed to get something back. Because we only have 10 snow permanents. Although we have none in our hand. Oh, just the one. So 9 out of 32. Uh, I don't love those odds. I think I'd rather wait on 3 seasons. Until we can guarantee get that full value. That's what I think. Ooh, Ascendant Sphere. That's a good one. There's a snow land. Which I guess we could have gotten. Um, I'm gonna do the Mistwalker. They got two snow lands already too, huh? Okay. Oh jeez, three for three on snow lands, huh? Yeah, the top form of this is really good too. Hmm, saw it coming, huh? Uh, it's going to be a 4-4 four four on their turn? Jeez. That's good. Next turn I can play more at copying Mistwalker, though. Which isn't busted. I guess we just play the bow. Mm, maybe we attack. Not really going to be able to block it anyway. Let's play the bow. We'll pass. We do have Depart the Realm, which is a reasonable way to answer the spirit. Next turn, we're playing the Morit to copy the Mistwalker. What happens if I copy the Morit? I don't know if that works. Oh, he's not. All right. Interesting. Well, now we just want to do the Outrider. Hey, you get They've been four for four, four on Snowlands, though, which is pretty awesome for them. Does it get bigger again? I forgot. Comes a 6-6? Six, six? Wow. That is pretty Brutus beefcake, huh? Well... Yeah, I'm going to attack. I'm willing to trade off my Outrider for their spirit. And I'll try and... I mean, I could leap up, saw it coming, but I'm going to try and copy. If I can get Outrider going, I feel like I'd be in good shape. Yeah, it's big. And they can keep pumping it too, which is pretty nuts. I do feel like I need to untap pretty badly here. So I can keep my guys protected. But at the same time, getting a beefy Outrider out there is kind of good right now. I mean, they can cast their fight spell struggle to kill my 5-5 five five with their spirit. Uh, but I do have reach creature. So that wouldn't be the best for them. Right. 
Um, I think I'm going to block with my 1-1. One, one. This prevents him from drawing a card, so to me it seems worth it. Because I basically, what, just lose a 1-1 one, one for that? I'm alright with that. I am short of land, but that's okay. Um, I think we just, I think we just smash with everything here. And the reason we smash with everything is so that I can snakeskin veil my outrider, get in for a bunch of damage, and we leave up saw it coming, and behold a multiverse. I don't even want to foretell saw it coming because I feel like that's going to telegraph what's going on here. We've got two lethal creatures on board, though. They can keep pumping Ascendant Spirit. That's kind of the dirty part about the, uh, the fourth ability. You can just pay that mana again. But it doesn't really matter because both of our guys are lethal. Uh, that gives them an extra blocker, which I don't really want, so I'm going to actually, I'm going to counter that. Because now if they play something, they're not going to be able to pump the spirit, which is important. They also don't have enough to Iron Verdict either of our bigger dudes. They did play another block, but now they can't pump the Spirit, so this actually puts them in a relatively difficult position, sort of. Because um, I can equip, let's see, no snow to get back. I can behold the multiverse, but then possibly forego a little damage. We may just want to maximize damage here. Although getting more dudes on board, I can use the Mirror Lake. Hmm. I think we go bow on the Mistwalker. Actually, no, we do it on the Outrider, don't we? Yeah. That does make more sense. Sweet. We'll see you for the next one. All right, well, no blue mana, three blue spells. Eh, this one might be a little bit too sketchy. We can foretell this, but then we can't do these two. And this is double blue. It's probably a little bit too awkward to keep. I want to stay a little bit busier earlier. And I think there's enough goodies in our deck where we don't need a slow start like this. Like this, it's a good hand. And we can probably ditch a forest. Probably. Could have ditched the three seasons. But. Um, yeah, I'm cool with this. So, turn two Fortel, turn three Raven, turn four Chariot. It's pretty good. Turn four Chariot is quite good. One that punch, that's a good one. Alright, let's do Snowland, Raven. Alright. We'll do Chariot here. And we can't crew, right? Can't crew vehicles, got it. So we still can bounce our Raven. We can still copy our Raven with Mirror Lake. So I'm fine with that. Um, if their plan is Iron Verdict, we get to counter that, which is also nice.
did not. So, hmm, guess I foretell it. Your shield knight, not worth countering. Alright, Outrider. That's a good one. So we'll go land. I don't have the mana to keep up the counter, but I think I'm just going to play the Outrider. And activate the chariot. Get in for a boatload here. I didn't play around the Iron Verdict this time, but it's mostly because they didn't have it last turn. Should have been like a golden opportunity for them to do it. green mana now too no play though so we can leave up the sot coming so I think that means we just activate or do I want to wait um I think I want to leave up counter just because we're. I feel like we're so far ahead. Um, do I actually want to tap the Outrider to get in more spread out damage? I think that's actually right, believe it or not. And we'll get in. Oh, wait. Uh, let's say I tap the two dudes instead. Uh, maybe it would have been lethal. I'm not sure. But either way, I think we're okay. They got to do something pretty spicy here in order to win. And that's not it. All right. We'll see you for the next one. All right. We got a keep here. We'll do our blue mana first. Uh, I think we'll just do Snowland Raven Wings. That way we can do turn three Ice Side Troll and still do potential turn four Equip plus Snakeskin Veil, which is quite good. Yeah. Discard. Probably a snakeskin veil and an island. That way we can still do more it next turn. Creature like clockwork got there. Oops. 
So now we need another creature, but then we can copy it. Currently, yeah, we need to find a creature for more it to be good. Four is not so good, but probably good enough here. So best use of mana is probably the mirror lake, but we don't really have a creature worth copying. I can make a 3-3. Three, three. I guess that's better than a 2-2 two, two when I'm about to die, so might as well do it. die so hmm well I can't pay any more life for the wither crown so I might as well throw that one away and then double block the kennel master but I almost feel like the menace is a bigger deal so maybe we have to do this Take four. Maybe I needed to play the sculptor and then equip the raven wings. I'm not sure. I'm in a tough spot there. So looks like we lose this one. Tapped all my blue mana too, so didn't telegraph much. All right. We'll see for the next one. All right, you got a good hand here. We finally see our pack bait too. Forgot I had that. Pretty important card for our deck here too. We'll probably go on the Raven Wings plan unless we draw something like a chariot, for example. Be a good draw. It's a good one, too. Struggle for Skimfar is going to get us pretty good here. Could have left up to part the realm to play around that. 
but yeah, I guess then I wouldn't have had a way to, I probably should have just left up to part the room. I didn't play around the fight spell and it's a common, so I've done that a few times in this format. There's just commons that you really need to play around because it's just such a high probability that they have it. Um, and it just, I think they're going to struggle us here. So we'll have to play Mistwalker and maybe just bounce the spell up. But yeah, I, I could have played around that. Like I said, that's just something that's going to come in time with this format. I have no doubt in my mind that I'm going to be able to very easily play around that in the future. But for now... Um, that's just something I'm going to miss. Just sort of a, a more early format sort of thing, I would say. I mean, you might argue I'm 30 drafts in, which is a pretty good argument. But, uh, I don't know what to tell you. You just need to give me a little time. I'm going to be able to more effectively play around things. By the end of Cons of, by the end of, uh, Cons of Tarkir, I felt like... I don't know. I felt like things were just much easier. Here, I'm just going to bounce that. Slow them down. So, we'll exile it, yes. And we'll play a land. We'll put a Voyage at counter on it. We'll play Mistwalker. And I guess we'll flip it. Walk, which is pretty good. Um, I probably want her back. Oh, wait. No, I guess she's only got one voyage counter on her. Yeah, I better do one more. Although, she'd be a 3-5 right now. Can I afford to take 7 damage next turn? They're also missing land drops. Hmm. I think I'm going to... Well... They have five. They have this fella. Yeah, I'd probably put a counter on it. Maybe we'll do Glade Walker. And get in for some damage here. So, we'll block Narfi if they attack. Prevent a little damage with our Glade Walker. Then we'll play the land and get... Uh, Cosima back. Let's see what we draw. Hmm, this is not bad. So, we'll decline... Her back, drawing the cards. Yeah, that's good. And you got the two snow lands as well, so also good. And I think I'm actually going to do this and then pass. So if they struggle, I can miss in response, which is pretty good. Hmm. 
guess that works. No attacks. All right. Well, I'm gonna draw some cards then. Elven bow and a land. Well, we don't need a land, but I'm kind of okay with elven bow. Ooh, snakeskin veil is a good one too. All right. Well. Now I think we just get in for six. And then we play Elven Bow and leave up Mists of Lit Yara and Snakeskin Veil. Um... I guess we don't leave up Miss of Lithiara. Because I'd rather leave up the snow for Ice Side Troll, just because it's kind of free. All right. But more than likely, we're just going to be casting Snakeskin Veil to protect our Mistwalker or whatever. I feel like if I left up blue without the snowlands, it might be too dangerous. The thing is, I don't really want to. Uh, I don't really want to use Ice Eye Troll's ability because I want to leave up Snakeskin Veil so they just die with the uh, the Mistwalker or whatever. But right. and then we're gonna try and do that. Fruit. And that should be that. Interestingly, we didn't even have to do that. I'm fine doing it, but our Ice Eye Troll with Pump next turn, like if they attacked with everything, we could have just re equipped and pumped and killed them over top anyway. But whatever. Still worked out. We'll see for the next one. All right. Got a good keep here. Both colors. We have the pack mate. Behold. We're going to do the pack mate first. Try and find a land that way. While getting a 3 3 at the same time. a good one. It's cool. Turn three scry to get in for two flying is pretty strong. So we'll do the pack mate. And we'll go land and 
sense. Found our fourth land. I think I'm actually just gonna play the Raven. Now I could have, I guess, left up, saw it coming, but we have Depart the Realm, so we'll find hopefully a timely opportunity to bounce the uh, the Alrund. Really strong card though. So here we've got eight snow things left in our deck. Um, I think I'm just going to leave up Behold, Saw It Coming. Oh, wait, I can't do Saw It Coming. I see, I see. Mm. All right. Well... I think I'm gonna go Behold, Portel, leave up Depart the Realm in case they cast uh, Allrend. I'm missing a land drop here though. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough spot. Tough spot. I want to leave up bounce in case they play all in so they don't immediately draw cards, but at the same time, I need to make land drops, so I maybe just needed a hard cast behold. Um, I probably just do behold now, I guess. Dump those because we need lands. So we can go chariot. Pass. So we have our second blue source so we can hard counter with saw it coming. We've got mists of lit yard and maybe protect us a little bit. Got a grip full of cards, but still in some trouble here. Oh jeez. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a good choice. So what can I do here? I guess we just start getting some baddies out there. I think how I could do this. I 
guess the problem is I, I can't activate the chariot and do miss plus everything. So let's do let's do outrider here for now. This is fine. We'll pass. Next turn we can activate chariot and do miss plus depart as necessary, I guess. It's not great, but potentially lets me copy a token. I can always depart my chariot too. Not bad. Spit out more cats. But I feel like we're kind of looking busy right now. I think you just named land the Dalren, right? I'd probably choose land. Yeah. So they did get a land. We got a land too. It's tapped though. Um. So we play tap land. Hmm. If I do Pilfering Hawk, I can't leave up Sot coming. I think we leave up saw it coming, but then I can't leave up to part the realm. Hmm. I think we leave up depart and miss of lit Yara. That's that's what I think. actually okay if they start going ham on that. Oh, I'm kind of okay with a pilfer. Um, I didn't want that to trigger, which is unfortunate. I think I have to let it resolve now. And they named instant, and they hit one, huh? That's not good. And they have squash mana up. Wow. All right. Play this. Um, let's see. Play the Yeti. So I can't really counter the squash, unfortunately. Can't really attack either. Tough spot. Like, yeah, I don't know. 
I basically have to let them squash. I have to leap up saw it coming to answer all render. I'm not going to be able to win. This is challenging. So I think we missed the What do we missed? Might be a flyer. Don't really love that, but I have to find ways to prevent damage here. And evasive damage seems good. Sima is not bad, but it's not great either. So I've got seven mana. I can foretell this plus play Kasima. I, I need a flyer at this point. I've kind of put myself in a difficult position here. So we'll play the Hawk. And maybe at this point I just do the the three seasons and hope to hit something. Could do the Raven Wings actually, that might be better. But then I'm really telegraphing counter. Alright, I think I'm just gonna telegraph counter and accept it. Can't do the mirror lake at instant speed, right? No. Hmm. So I can like copy a Yeti and then start copying it with the chariot kind of cool. I'm okay with this. So now I can't copy the Yeti, but it's not a huge deal. they knew we had the counter so it's weird to me that they allowed us to do it but that's cool so hmm. it's still a tough choice like I can get in with the chariot I can it kind of costs too much I feel like but maybe not maybe not maybe I can go Cosima Activate 
chariot. Two to equip. All right, can't deal with second squash, so they got us. We'll do three seasons. See if we find any snow. No attacks. So we can chump with the hawk and at least get that back. No other snow in yard. No, that's not true. We get the Yeti too. All right, decent. So we'll take a boatload of damage. They'll get a free spell. Double squash got us pretty good. So we'll chump there. Not sure why they attacked with the Mistwalker though. Land is fine. It's probably the least scary boast. This fine filler is pretty good. I don't think we can afford to uh, send Cosima on a voyage, unfortunately. So we'll get a Yeti and a Hawk. So for eight mana, I guess we'll just do Mistwalker and Yeti. Um, but I can start looting next turn if I do Hawk, huh? That's true. And I can equip it. How many times can they pump Mistwalker? They pump it three times, we take one. I think we can afford to do that. I want to be able to loot. I think we need to start looting. Uh, wait. I should have equipped Cosima. <laughs> My bad. My thinking was a 2-4 on the ground might actually be important. I mean, it is, actually. It's blocking Firewalker, so that's true. Okay. Plus, yeah, I guess they have tap anyway, so maybe it maybe it doesn't matter what I equip. I should just spread the power toughness. That actually does make sense. Well, I'm definitely shuffling back chariot, probably packmate, and to lit Yara Mirror Lake, maybe? I could see that. Oh, good one. Good removal in there. Double Frostbite, Double Squash, Demon Bolt, Owlrund. Their deck looks really, really sick. Really sick. I think that'll do her, right?
right? Yeah, I block the four, we take three, four, and then they just triple pump Mistwalker. Nice. Pretty nice. Impressive. All right. We'll see you for the next one. All right, we got to keep here. Probably turn two, foretell behold. Turn three, maybe cast it. Probably cast it. Depending on what we draw, of course. Well, maybe we can hold off now. Make better use of mana. Elven Bow also makes pretty good use of mana. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to do the Bow. Because I don't have any snow lands anyway, so this kind of makes sense. Next turn, unless we draw land, we're going to do the Behold here. Yeah, we did get the land, so now I can do Troll. I have a double blocker for Packmate, which I'm kind of okay with. Now if we rip another land, we can do Morit too, but I'd probably do the Outrider. I think the Outrider makes more sense. Huh. Guess I. Well. Actually, this is fine if I double block. They don't actually get a two for one if they, like, bounce or whatever, because I get to keep the bow. So. Yeah. I'm fine with that trade. I don't have two snow mana. I can't do anything anyway. Not the end of the world. Certainly not the scariest mask vandal I've ever seen. So now I'll slam an Outrider. Next turn I can play the Morit, copy it, get a 7-7. Seven, seven. Two on top, scary. Okay, that's fine. So let's do Morit. Mm. Actually, I guess I can attack. Because I've got miss. Yeah, that's pretty good. And if they don't block, I'll just make a 7-7. Seven, seven, so, either way, it's good. If they block, we'll get a 2-for-1. If they don't block, I'll make a 7-7. Seven, seven. I like both of those options. And I guess if they block, I'd probably behold first just to see what my options are. Not that I necessarily would come up with better options. But, um, I might. Might draw something I want to do instead of the miss. They're in the tank on this this block, huh? It's a pretty pivotal uh, pivotal block, rather. I think I understand. Well, they sat in the tank too long and uh, didn't do anything. So now I'm not sure if they're not at the keyboard or what. But let's do more it and copy. All right. Ice Spine Pillar is a pretty good one. Ooh, Chariot's a pretty good one, too. Uh, what do we want to do here? Well, we can do Chariot post-combat, so we'll just do this. They can tap a dude. Mm -hmm. We'll get in. See if they block. All right, so... Mm. This... 
Filler guys. Gonna do the chariot. That puts him in a pretty tough spot. The kind of gross thing is that we can, in response to them tapping Icebind Filler, we can activate Chariot. Which is really insane. So let's behold ourselves first. Don't need lands. I mean, I can't imagine they disdainful stroke this and leave themselves vulnerable to ice spine filler. That doesn't seem very good. Oh, I can keep both of these. Probably the Mistwalker for eh, it doesn't really matter. Uh going to go to combat see if they tap because in response yeah so now i can that's so dirty see you for the next one. Alright, gotta keep this. We got the chariot. I don't know if we... I still don't know about... Because I don't really like three seasons in general. But I also don't know when to play it. You just play it and if you don't get anything, that's too bad. Because that doesn't seem very good to me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, pack mate now, huh? Well, I'm going to go for the Raven. I hope I rip the fourth land so I can do the pack, mate. Oh. Well, I did get a fourth land. I guess that's acceptable. Uh, let's do the... Let's do the Behold... Well, does it matter? Let me think about this. I want to do Chariot next turn. I'd probably rather have the Pack Meat then. In Fortel zone. Ooh, Spirit's good enough. I probably would have... No, I guess that makes sense. So I'll just jam the chariot. Miss our land drop here, but that's alright. I can tolerate that. So, missing a land drop. I think we do the pack mate. Got the land. So now we can do land. Hmm. 
And I can get in with the chariot here. I can also play the sculptor. I mean, I have some decent options here. I wonder if I also just want to do raven wings. Because then I can activate chariot each turn. I kind of want Raven Wings to be a surprise, though. It's kind of a tough choice. I mean, I can also attack with Chariot, because they have to double block. Yeah, you know what? That's probably the best. In all honesty, that's got to be the best. I think we just get aggressive here. I think we just get aggressive. If they have the monstrous growth, we're in some trouble, but I'm going to hope they don't have it. So we lose a token to get in four points of damage. Eh, I think I'm alright with that. Not losing my chariot, so it seems pretty good. can actually copy the pack mate first or I can fly over top with chariot and get another 2-2 two -two. pack mate draws me a card though oh they kept the chariot locked up huh All right. this is way better then All right, we'll do the arctic tree line They have another blizzard brawl in there. They do. So they're going to kill my pack mate. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I guess we'll... So we'll block a bird strider. This prevents me from, uh... Alright, well... When you got everything, you got everything, so... Not much to be done there. Yeah, the holds, unfortunately, are just very awkward right now. And, uh... It's not much I can do. Really not much I can do. Guess I behold and pray. Like, I can play Mistwalker. I can't activate Chariot unless I pump. And it's not like it does anything for me anyway. Um, they have a blocker for it. If I, this doesn't do anything, these take too much of my mana. I can make things fly. It doesn't do anything. I think we're just toast. I don't, I don't see any actual discernible ways out of this situation. So That is that. Like, I could have left up mana to activate Chariot, but it doesn't actually do anything given this board situation we've got going here, so. All right. Hope you enjoyed it, folks. Ended up, uh, what did we get, five wins or four wins? I can't even remember. This draft felt like it took forever. Felt like one of the longest drafts I've done, and we didn't even do that many games, I don't think, total, but felt like a really long draft. They were just really long, grindy games. Uh, got five wins, though, so that's good. Probably should have had more, honestly, just because Chariot is such a ridiculously broken, feeling, limited card. Um, I like to describe it as the one good vehicle in this set, just oddly enough. All the vehicles suck, except the rare, which is just bonkers, probably overpowered, good, and limited. But, uh, all right, got our five wins. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.